what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are jumping in with two more episodes of the walking dead season 10 episodes 7 and 8 we are going to be halfway through the season um when i finish with these um so as i said man i don't have we're in the typical middle of season stuff right now building up the climax for the season right building up the story for the season and you know until we get into the thick of things um i think there's going to be a big showdown between the whisperers and all four communities i think they're going to be a big showdown at the end of this season um at least that's what i'm hoping for um what is negan's um plan here by going to join the whispers i don't negan ain't that he's not trying to become a weirdo you get what i'm trying to say he's not trying to become a weirdo i don't see negan as the type of person who's gonna do this with no plan and action he's just he might be a psychopath you know what i'm saying it, well he's not that anymore but he, he, he you know something might be broken in him but he's not stupid you get what i'm saying um, he's not stupid by any means. So I'm still looking forward to seeing what, what his plan is, because I really don't believe that he's going to betray everyone. So with that said, let's jump into these episode, episode seven and eight of season 10. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode seven and eight. It is now one nineteen in the morning. <laughs> wow, I still want to keep going, um, cause girl, she's sleeping, so I could keep going. I just um, not hopefully no moments happen that will cause me to make too much noise. But if if you see me tr sc making scream, kind of you know gyrations or whatever and you don't hear anything coming out of my mouth you know the reason why anyways guys that was they killed Sadiq I did not expect that um I mean Sadiq was not my favorite character by any means but he was still an essential part you know what I'm saying Carl basically died saving him you know so I didn't expect him to kill his character off I mean but at the same time, it makes sense for the story, you know, with this guy coming in, infiltrating because of Alpha killing Sadiq and then Gabe went ape shit, <laughs> went ape shit on this dude and killed him. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing where this going to take. I have a feeling. I really have a feeling that that's where rick is rick is on that freaking island bro it's gotta be a naval base helicopter i mean it makes sense man it really does make sense you know what i mean like i i, I don't think it's so far-fetched to think that rick that's where rick is you know what I'm saying? And they don't know how to leave or whatever the situation is. or, But they got weapons. So I don't know. This could be... I, I, I'm still worried about the situation because Michonne is going alone. So we'll see how that develops. But man, I totally understand. Carol is still... The thing about it is the reason why... It's not that I that carol is you know not one of my favorite characters anymore or anything like that i just at this point it just feels it just she is hurt and she's angry and it's causing her to make some really dumb decisions and i i don't like seeing her like that it breaks my heart to see a strong character like carol being you know what i'm saying going through losing a child again it's not easy man it's not easy it will break anybody i'll put that up against you know what i'm saying um for you to prove me wrong in 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 those situations is that that wouldn't break you that wouldn't 
you know, cause you to act different. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's just that I don't like seeing her like this. And it, it's just that I don't want her to make a mistake and get herself killed. And that's really what I'm worried about. Um, cause Daryl, you know what I'm saying? Daryl is the last person you expect to be telling someone that they're act they're acting out of pocket. You know what I mean? Like Daryl's character, you know, it's just one of those characters, man, that you really have to be wondering about. I thought I heard something just now. Um, so it, it, it it just goes to show you how character development is so important in a series because Daryl is always the one that is acting based on his emotion and now he's here trying to tell Carol, calm down. You get what I'm saying? I'm here. If you want to talk, I'm here. So to see Daryl from this perspective is very, it's very different, but also you can see that he's learned a lot over the years of how to deal with certain situations and stuff like that from all the people that was supporting him and trying to get him out of that funk. I mean, season nine started out with Carol going to get him because, you know what I mean? And then bring him back into the fold because he was still like this, this emotional attachment that he has to Rick bring a brother to him and stuff like that. Him looking for Rick and stuff like that and him out there by himself. And everybody knows Daryl can take care of himself. Nobody is debating that. But at the end of the day, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? I want to see you alive no matter what. No matter what's going on, I want to see you alive. So um, we found out where they're hiding the herd. That's for sure. Um, the horde, I should say. Uh, that's why they call it the horde. Um wow this show amazes me you have no idea you know what i'm saying it amazes me how good the writing is and it's not that i've not seen better writing or i haven't i'm not used to good writing it's just still amazes me that they keep putting out 10th the 10th season 10th season and the story is not stale you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the story is not stale. And it's basically about zombies. <laughs> you know what I mean? For for that, for you to have an achievement like that and to not make it some cliche zombie TV show, it's, it's brilliant. In my opinion, it is. It's brilliant. You know, so I'm looking forward to seeing, of course, what is going to happen next, as always, man. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, of course, of what you think is going to happen if you have not watched the show. Tell me, guys, you know, I've had my opinions, I say my opinions, it's just how I feel. Anytime I pause to tell you guys something during the show, um, you know, it's my true feelings and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not a bullshitter, I don't bullshit people, you know what I mean? So, it's, I just want you guys to understand that, you know what I mean? So, whatever my opinion is, there's no need to get mad. Just put your opinion back in the comment section. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Put your opinion back. You know, I might agree to you, agree with you um, to a degree, but not entirely all the way. But an opinion is an opinion. You get what I'm saying? It's how you want to live. You get what I'm saying? My opinion. You might be able to change my opinion on something. I'm not saying I'm not willing to hear someone out. That's what I'm trying to say. So thank you guys so much as always to keep supporting these videos. I really do appreciate y'all. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and also subscribe if you are new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I will see you guys tomorrow for some more The Walking Dead. <laughs>